I look like shit. Yeah. Hey, it's Tony. Um, today I will be talking about the importance of Crisco in the sexual manner. <laughs> Why are you that? behind me in this video? You're like, what, do you want to do like a we... lineup? Yeah. Hi. That's nice. Wait, move over though. We're not really centered. Okay. I'm Tony, and this is Joseph. I'm Anthony. Why are you always behind? You're like. Hi, my name is Tony. Um, I, I like to um, hide like you like to fill with Starbucks cups. Whatever. Oh, my Starbucks is done, and well, my pants are on. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm an actor. Hi. I'm Tony. I'm Joey. And guess what? We're awkward. We so in love. January two thousand and thirteen. I was stalking Tyler Oakley's blog and I found a post, I don't remember the post, but I found one that I thought was kind of funny. And you know how sometimes you'll be like, oh that's funny, who else reblogged it? They probably think it's funny too. I saw one that said No Pants Revolution reblogged it and I was like, no pants, I'm, I don't like pants. Click. Started scrolling, oh look, he seems cute, he's funny, oh I like his stuff. And then one day, he posted like, here's my Snapchat. And I was like, you know what, life's too short. I'm going to send him a picture. I've never used Snapchat before except for that one moment, so I like download it, send it to him. I didn't add any word because I didn't know you could do such a thing. So just a picture of my derpy face and he responded and wrote, Who are you, cute boy? Did I say that? Yeah. You're <laughs> I'm such a tool. And so yeah, then we start, we Snapchatted for a long time. And then one day I was like, I was drunk. I was drunk too. Yeah, we were both drunk. But we were both 21. I sent him my number and said, think fast. And... On Snapchat. On Snapchat. So he only had 10 seconds to think fast. And I was with my friends at the time, and I just started screaming out numbers for everyone to remember. Mm. And thankfully remembered them all in the correct order. Yep, because then I got a text that said... Did I think fast enough? And then we started, you know, texting and calling, and then I remember one day, you know, we were planning on meeting. Like... We always planned, you know, I'm like, I want to fly to California and meet you. I remember texting him one day, and he was saying, you know, I'm so glad I'm done with classes, you know, for a week since it's spring break. And I was just like, do you have any plans for spring break? He was like, no. And, and then we joked about how his parents should just give him money to send him to Florida to meet me. So I was like, hey, Mom, Dad, a bunch of my friends are going to Florida for, like, spring break, and it'd be really awesome if I could go, too. You know, it's Disney World, and I can get in for free, and there's room and board, so why not let me go? Just give me some money for a plane ticket. And my mom was like, I don't know. And then she was like, actually, your grandmother would like to give you some money to have fun and have a good spring break. And I was like, okay. Got the money, told this kid. The great part about it is, during that same week of spring break, was when my parents... Um, we're gonna come and visit me in Florida. So, I had my parents coming. I have the stress of that. And then, I had this random kid I met on Snapchat coming to visit me for the first time. And then, so, then he came, and pretty much sparks flew when we first, like, met each other. It was love at first sight. Yeah. And then I shoved him in my trunk, snuck him into our apartment complex, um, through security, because it was really late and I couldn't sign him in. And Imagine how that feels. I just meet this guy and he says, get in my trunk. I'm all alone in a state I've only been to a few times and he could mm -hmm. kill me. <laughs> Thank yeah. God he did it. Right. <laughs> For now. First day was great. Second day met my parents and... They were sweet. Right. We told them that we've known each other for years. <sighs> um, but yeah, it just kind of worked out. Ever since then, we've been talking every day and visited each other and now I moved in with him because we're secretly lesbians and we've been dating for four months and I moved in with him. So basically we want to say thank you to the creators of Snapchat, to people of Tumblr, to people Tyler of Tyler Oakley, Tyler Oakley. blog more in particular. Thank you. Matchmaker didn't know it was happening. A little matchmaker. A little matchmaker happening. A little matchmaker. Yeah. Uh, um, so I'm gonna blame you when this all just explodes in my face. I'm gonna find you. Explodes in your face. <laughs> it always explodes in my face. So, this is a message for everyone on Tumblr. You know what? You can meet someone on there. Never intended to be a dating Never site. Never intended but... to be a dating site. But, but... but, I mean, you have all these common things. Right. You know, you put all the things you like, all the things you think are funny on a website, and... Right. 
Maybe it should be a dating site. It should be a dating site. We should think about it. But as Rihanna once said, we found love in a Tumblr place. Did we not? Okay. <laughs> this is going great. This has never been better. No, we can't end on like a... This is just a message that... You can find happiness! <laughs> I mean, maybe. No, it's going good. Oh, great. Because sometimes you get lonely. <laughs>